I'm Jillian Fisher, Miss Vermont. With the changes that came along with Miss America 2.0, we're still empowering women, but we're letting so many more women be able to come into this role because of the changes, right? So we're allowing women to feel confident in their passions and promote those passions on a large scale, and that's incredible. And I'm so proud to be a part of an organization that promotes that. And so I want to be Miss America 2.0 for that reason so I can show so many more women that they can do this. Yeah, so my social impact initiative is entitled The Stigma Stops Here, and it advocates for people that are battling with addiction. And so my main role is to incorporate first-person language into everybody's everyday vocabulary. Because when people are fighting addiction, they are at a low point in their life and they feel like that nobody is in their corner. And when people are using words such as addict, junkie, crackhead, those are dehumanizing words. And I wouldn't want to be called it and I don't think anybody else would too. So what I'm doing is I am trying to help people realize that the words that they use are super, super important in order for people to find recovery and feel confident in themselves in finding recovery. So. I'm advocating for people that are struggling with this problem and helping them know that they're not alone. I'm really proud to have a social impact that can be nationwide, right? It's not just in the state of Vermont that's dealing with this problem. Everyone in this country probably knows somebody that is dealing, uh, dealing with addiction. And so it is a heavy topic, but the Miss America organization has welcomed my passion with open arms and helped me push this forward, um, I've created a website entitled The Sigma Stops Here in which I've allowed people to write stories, their own stories or a family member's stories about their experiences with addiction and I've also created a pledge in which people will reform the language that they use, so using first person language. And Miss America is sharing my website, helping me get the word out there and I have a hundred, hundreds of pledges so far. And so without Miss America's support, um, I wouldn't be able to push this as far as it's going. I'm really lucky. My mom was a local title holder in the Miss America organization when she was my age. And she was a volunteer um, at her local for over 20, 25 years until my sister and I decided that we wanted to compete. So without um, her knowledge and her volunteering, I don't think my sister and I would have known that this was an opportunity for us. So I'm very, very lucky that she is so passionate about this and taught us all about the positives of the Miss America organization. I think social media is a great thing as long as you don't abuse it, right? So as long as you are being positive and putting out your true self on the social media, you can go so far. And with my social impact, I've been sharing positive stories and, you know, maybe the negatives too, but it's the truth, right? And I'm always putting out 100% true content. And I think as long as people continue to do that, social media is a great tool that we need to keep on utilizing. If I were to become Miss America 2.0, I truly have a wide variety of activities, hobbies that or passions that I am a part of. I want to be a veterinarian. Um, that's my that's my overall goal. So I want to be a veterinarian. I work on a dairy farm, but I also have my passions aligning with the drug addiction problem in this country. So I can I played sports in high school. I sing. I can reach and contact and. Um, communicate with a variety of different people and this country is not made up of one type of person there are so many different backgrounds in this country so I would love as Miss America 2.0 to be able to reach as many different people as possible and advocate for them as well as just show them what Miss America is all about now.